Hey everyone, this is Julia with the Konkin Review and today I'm at the Four Points by Sheraton in Anaheim at the Disneyland Resort giving you an honest room tour and review. This video is not sponsored, but if you find it helpful, we'd love your support. Give us a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Although it has a fairly average rating on TripAdvisor, it's one of the less expensive hotels within a short walk of the Disneyland Resort. The Four Points has some great amenities which we touch on in another video, but this video focuses solely on the room itself, so let's get started. The first thing I really want to emphasize is how comfy these beds are. They are cushy, they are clean, and they are absolutely a dream to rest your aching body after a long day at the park. We booked a room with two queen beds, and each bed had four pillows, which is perfect if you're bringing a family of four. But there was only one nightstand in the room. At night, I have to charge both my iPhone and my Apple Watch. And if there are more than two people, well, someone's gonna get shafted. If you do have more than two people in the room, we were able to find other outlets close to the bed for charging. Ben and I have stayed at this hotel before it was the Four Points, back when it was the Hotel Menage. And I was very pleasantly surprised with how well they have updated these rooms. Their coffee and tea offering is above average for the area, but if in-room coffee is not your style, there is a Starbucks across the street. Although there aren't many drawers in the room, the closet had tons of hangers and hanging space. It also has an iron, ironing board, luggage holder, full-length mirror, a safe, which will easily hold all of your important belongings, including a full-size laptop, and a standard hotel room sized fridge. But unlike many hotels, this fridge was actually cold. There are complimentary water bottles in the room and a comprehensive room service menu served up by the hotel's restaurant, True Grits. The bathroom is a typical motel style bathroom where the vanity sits outside of the bathroom area, which is typical for a hotel of this age. The recent updates to the bathroom have created a clean and modern look. However, some parts of the bathroom still haven't been updated and are looking a little old and dingy. Before I reveal my honest rating on this room, I'm going to go over my guidelines. Number one, this rating is for the room only. Number two, I've adjusted my rating scale to reflect the Disneyland area hotels. Many of these hotels have been around for a while, and to be blunt, I'm being more generous with my rating for all of the Disneyland area hotels than I would typically be at any other resort. The first category that I'm rating this room on is cleanliness and condition. Even though the tiles and grout are looking a little dingy, it's actually one of the cleanest hotel rooms I've stayed in in Anaheim. And they've done a really good job of renovating the rest of the room. So I'm giving them a 4 out of 5. Next up is comfort and security. If I was giving this rating only for my night's sleep, it would be a 5. The bed was amazing and the traffic outside was actually white noise to help drown out the sounds of the other guests. But to be honest, I have read reviews where the traffic or the noise from the 24-hour pool area has bothered some guests. To help with this, the hotel does provide earplugs. It's also worth noting that there is a locked door connecting to the adjoining room, which is standard for every hotel in the Disneyland area. This feature is great for large families, but requests for adjoining rooms aren't always guaranteed. So make sure you put your request in early and then follow up with the hotel staff a few days before your arrival. With all that said, I'm giving a four out of five. The next category is in-room amenities. The Four Points is definitely above average in this category. My personal favorites were the free water bottles and the full-sized hairdryer. This category gets another four out of five. The final category is value. I know I mentioned it before, but this hotel is consistently one of the least expensive options close to the park and definitely gives you a lot of bang for your buck as far as the room is concerned which is why I'm giving it a five out of five. This gives the room an overall rating of 4.25 out of five. 
I personally think it's a great option if a comfortable bed and a clean room is important to you. For more information on the Four Points by Sheraton, check out our Four Points Resort Tour and Review, and our review of the True Grits Breakfast Buffet. I'm Julia, and this has been the Konkin Review.